Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I am your math tutor. I want you to achieve success in math. That's why I come every week and solve a problem. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button at the bottom right corner. Please subscribe to my channel because this is the only way I come back and solve new problems for you. My goal is to help you achieve success in maths, okay? So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. Okay, this is a problem on parabola. For the function fx is given as x squared plus 8x plus 15, determine a, whether the parabola opens upward or downward. Find the y-intercept, find the vertex, find the axis of symmetry, find the x-intercepts. So we'll solve this problem. So we note that the function of x, fx is given as x squared plus 8x plus 15. a is the coefficient of x squared, in this case it is equal to one, b is the coefficient of x, in this case it is equal to eight, and c is the constant term, which in this case is 15. Part a, we have to determine whether the parabola opens upward or downward. By the way, whenever we see a quadratic equation that is the highest power of x or exponent of x is two, it is a parabola. So in this case, the coefficient of x squared a is equal to one, positive one. Therefore, the parabola opens upward, okay? Next question, find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we will substitute x equal to zero because on the y-axis, x is always equal to zero in the equation. So the function of at zero, function of zero is equal to zero squared plus eight times zero plus 15, equal to 15. So the y value is 15 when x is zero. Hence the y-intercept coordinates are zero and 15. Zero is the x-coordinate, y-coordinate is 15. Part C find the vertex, okay? X coordinate of the vertex is given by the formula minus B over two A, okay? In this case, B as we noted earlier is eight. So minus eight divided by two, A is one, two multiplied by one. So it is minus eight divided by two is minus four. Two, so that is the X coordinate of the vertex. To find the y coordinate of the vertex, we substitute x equal to minus four in the equation. So basically we are finding the function value at x equal to minus four. So we are finding the y value for x equal to minus four. So minus four in parentheses square plus eight times minus four plus 15, which is 16 minus 32 plus 15 which is 16 plus 15 is 31, minus 32 is minus one. Hence the coordinates of the vertex are x coordinate minus four, y coordinate minus one. Now for part D, we have to find the axis of symmetry. Equation of the axis of symmetry of the parabola, we have to find. The equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal to minus b over two a which is minus eight for B divided by two times one, which is two minus eight divided by two is minus four. Hence the axis of symmetry is X equal to minus four. It is a vertical line passing through the vertex, which divides the parabola into two equal parts. That is why it is called axis of symmetry. The last part they ask us to find out the X intercepts. Okay, to find the x-intercept, that is on the x-axis, y is always equal to zero. We substitute y is equal to zero in the equation and get zero on the left-hand side of equal to sign, equal to on the right-hand side, x squared plus eight x plus 15. So basically we have x squared plus eight x plus 15 equal to zero. 
which is a quadratic equation. And we factorize that. So we split 15 into two factors, five and three. We know five plus three add up to one. So we write the eight X as X squared plus, for eight X, we write three X plus five X plus 15. From the first two terms, we take out X as the common factor, highest common factor, and, and we get inside the parenthesis X plus three. For the last two fact, the last two terms, we take out the highest common factor is five, and we are left with X plus three in the parenthesis. So now if we look at that expression, X plus three is the common factor in both. So we take X plus three out and we are left with X plus five. So the quadratic equation can be solved as X plus five times X plus three equal to zero, which means either X plus five is equal to zero, and we subtract minus five on both sides to get X equal to minus five, or X plus three is equal to zero, and X equal to minus three. So what are the two X intercepts? One of them is minus five, zero, and the other one is minus three, zero, not three, zero as I've written here, which is a mistake. It should be minus three, zero. So the two X axis intercepts, that is where the parabola cuts the X axis where y is always zero, are minus five zero and minus three zero. So I will stop here today. If you have any comment, please write a comment to me. I will answer, I will answer to your comments. Also, I will come back each week and solve a new problem. So in order for me to do that, please subscribe to my channel. Please like my video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll appreciate that and I'll come back next time, solve a new problem. Take care, have a nice day and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Take care, see you all.